Oh, this is the Hang on. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome to another Base Invaders Challenge. This time, I have forced some different people to take part. We have Sasha aka Vixella. Hello. Joel aka Smallish Beans. Hello. And Ollie, also known as the Orion Sound. Hello. So you know the rules, we each have to build a base with traps, secrets and challenges to slow down the other players as they try to invade the base and retrieve your skull hidden within. So we each start off with these square plots and we build our bases in secret. So the theme I am going for for this base is Kawaii Castle. So I've got a nice selection of cute pastel colored blocks here to build out of and lull everyone into a false sense of security thinking this place is nice and sweet, but inside it's full of traps and death. Okay, so here is the kawaii castle. It looks a little bit freaky, I will admit. So the first thing that we are going to start off with is a little room that will block them off from the rest of the castle. In here we will have an iron door leading to the rest of the house. But how do you open it, you ask? Well, there's going to be a little sheep here in the corner, just like that. Except, he's going to be stood on a pressure plate. Now at the moment the pressure plate is not doing anything, so we need to do some little redstone and lead it all the way to the door here. There, so as you can see, the sheep standing on the pressure plate will open the door. But of course, we want the door to be shut so that they actually have to do something to get through. So we're gonna have to reverse the signal. So now the door is closed by default and it won't open again until the sheep is gone. Ta-da, see? So let's just cover this up to keep it a little secret for now and replace the sheep to keep the door closed. So now maybe to you and me, the answer is obvious. You just kill the sheep to release the pressure plate. But to everyone else, I'm going to try and make it a little bit more confusing. So I'm gonna add these item frames up here and put all the different taming foods in each one. And then maybe they will think that they have to tame the sheep. But no, there's actually a sword hidden right here that they will actually have to use to kill the sheep. I wonder if any of them will be able to do it. Who knows? We should even name tag it. That would make it even harder for people to be able to kill it. Here you go. Rainbow sheep. That will distract them even more. Now let's add some pretty carpet in as well. This serves no purpose. It's just cute. So I'm just gonna put a lever here for now for my own use. I'm gonna remove it before we let everyone loose in the house. But for now we need to make the next area. So I am making a corridor along here and I'm going to replace the floor with lava. And the way that they get across here is with trap doors. But they're all gonna be face down. So if they're smart, they will open up the trap door and parkour across. If they're not smart, they're gonna make things a lot harder for themselves. And now this is part two of the lava parkour. So once again, I'm gonna be using trap doors, except this time I'm gonna set them all to the up position. So it looks super easy to get across. However, I'm going to hide trip wires in the walls that when activated will cause the entire bridge to collapse. Oh no, I'm trapped. So now we just need to test to make sure we haven't made something impossible. So if we jump over the first trip wire, then make sure we duck under this one, then we'll make another jump one. Now I've actually figured out a way that you can kind of cheat and do this perfectly without failing. And all you have to do is walk along the very left side and then you won't fall through the trap doors. <laughs> so, you know, maybe if somebody's really smart then they'd figure it out, but I doubt any of these guys are gonna get through it. So I'm gonna end the lava trap door antics right here where our visitors will be greeted by a mysterious door. And of course, I'm gonna do a little secret door thing right here to reveal the next stage, but if they aren't looking hard enough, they won't find it. So just to confuse them, I'm just gonna put a single button here that doesn't do anything. So if they manage to figure it out and get through here, then the next part is a load of cacti. So let's start planting cacti everywhere. The next thing I have done is created a little maze above the cactus like this. And I'm just gonna make sure that there are signs on every block. So that means that I can now place water up here and it will float. 
So we just need to make sure it's all full. And this water is how they are supposed to get past the cacti. Now, how are they meant to get up to the water, you ask? Well, I thought it'd be cool to use vines and pretend that the room has been overgrown with plants. So let's just fill this entire wall and put a sign that says, the roof leaked. All this water made the plants grow like crazy. And then once they are smart enough to work their way through the maze, they just need to come out the other end and they'll be safe. Now I'm gonna make a weird door. So it's like an iron trap door so they can't get through until they unlock it. But it's not gonna be as easy as pressing a button. Oh no. I'm actually gonna make this be controlled by the button that I put all the way back here. So I know I said it didn't have a purpose and it was just there to confuse everyone, but now it has a purpose. So it's a lever, which means that they will have to flick it the right way. Otherwise they will have to make their way all the way back here just to flick the lever to open the trap door. So let's put a sign here. I guess that lever does have a purpose after all. Now what I think would actually be pretty funny next is to make this floor all black. And in fact, make this whole area black so that it's really dark. So they can't really see what's going on in there. Now I'm gonna add a little sign here that says, you have entered a wormhole. And the next bit will say, please put on your protective headgear. And then I'm going to hide a chest up here, which will of course contain their protective headgear. But that will be kind of hard to find. Oh, no it won't. Chests are very bright. So as long as they have put their headgear on, they will be okay when they proceed through the wormhole. Wormhole entry imminent. So I'm gonna put a pressure plate and that is them stepping into the wormhole. Okay, so I finished setting up the command box down here. This one will test to make sure that our astronauts are wearing their protective headgear, i.e. the gold helmet. And if they are, it will teleport them to space, but not actual space, of course, you will see. So first of all, let's test it out without the helmet. Yep, I was not allowed to go to space, but if I put my helmet on, then it will. And as you can see, space has not been completed yet. Construction is still ongoing. So we just need to black out this entire room, make it look a little more spacey. Okay, now we have a nice and spacey room. I'm going to fill it with some little bright planets or something, and also some beautiful stars in the sky. And spoiler alert, I'm also going to hide my skull in here and I'm going to hide it very sneakily over here. So they really have to go and look for it. But I'm not gonna end the quest here because then they will just try really hard to search for my skull in here. So I'm gonna pretend that the quest is not over. Lead them on a little bit of a wild goose chase. So it says, wow, this is what space looks like? The stars are so beautiful. But wait, who are those weird looking traps over there? And then back here, I'm going to put this R2D2 here and a Chewbacca because why not? And we'll make them say, we need your help. Tickle Chewbacca on the belly. And I'm gonna put a button here and it kind of looks like his belly. So once they press that, they will be teleported away from here yet again. And they will end up on the roof up here. So let's put in the coordinates and fill that in and then teleport up here. So we need a sign now. That wormhole ripped a hole in the fabric of time. Just gonna put a note here, not scientifically accurate because I have no idea what I'm talking about, people. I'm not sure how this whole kawaii castle theme got away from me and we've somehow ended up in space, but that's what's happened. So now that we're up here, the wild goose chase begins. So for the next puzzle, I'm basically going to have to direct them back to space, but I'm gonna try and waste as much of their time as possible. So I'm gonna do it in a very cryptic way. So let's put five item frames here and then a sign that says, collect the items and put them in the correct frames to unlock the clue. So I'm gonna put a block of wood above each one of these and I'm going to rename each one. This is S. This one's P, this one's A, this one's C, and this one's E. So once they put them in the correct frames, it will basically spell out the clue for them, quite literally. So we need to hide these around this area a little bit. We'll make some of them super obvious. Other ones we will hide a little bit better. Now we just need to kind of explain what's going on. Lizzie left a clue about where to find the skull, but the wormhole scattered all of the clue items all over this roof. So once they figure out that this whole time they should have just gone back to space, they're gonna wanna know, how do I get back to space? Well, let's leave a little sign here. If you want to go back to space, click R2D2's bum. So we'll just put a button here, and when we click it, it will take us back 
to a space where we can find the skull which is hidden right here. So there we have it, that is my base. I am really interested to see if anybody can find my skull in the time limit. And if you're interested in that too, don't forget to go to everybody else's channels to check out their attempts at exploring the Kawaii Castle. But now it's time for me to explore all of their bases. First up, we have Ollie's base. It's Whoa. a vase. It's Ooh, vase wow. invaders. Vase, vase invaders. Vase invaders. <laughs> then we have my base. Mine looks like poop in comparison. Boom. Oh, oh it's cute. <laughs> And now we shall reveal Sasha's base. Here it is. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah. So it's oddly slightly, similar. It's very spooky. <laughs> very, very colorful. And finally, Joel's base. Seeing as October is coming up, <gasps> I just have to do something very October-y. That's why. Oh. Bam. Ah, it's I a love snowman. It. Oh my goodness. These bases look so cool. I can't wait to try them out. So I am starting off with Sasha's base. I'm really excited because she said that we will probably all be able to find the head in here. So I might actually retrieve a head for once. So let's head on in and start the timer. Okay, so. We are in a room with buttons and paintings. I'm gonna first of all try the paintings because that's what you gotta do. Nope, there's nothing behind the paintings. So I guess we'll try the buttons. Oh, it's trivia time, cute. Okay, I'm just checking in case there's something I'm missing that's not very obvious. So what is Vixella's favorite soda? Dr. Pepper, Diet Coke or Sprite? I don't know. I really hope that she's a Dr. Pepper sister because that's my favorite too. No! Why? Okay, maybe it's Sprite. Yeah, okay, correct. When did Vixella start playing The Sims? At the age of 11, at the age of 6, or at the age of 13? Hmm, let's see. I think she was probably about 11. Nope. Incorrect. So we have to start back from the beginning. Maybe she was 6. Yeah, okay. Last one. Which game did Vixella's dog, Yuna, get her name from? Final Fantasy or Animal Crossing? <gasps> oh, I think Yuna is in Final Fantasy. Yay! Well done, but how are your parkour skills? Turn around. Okay, they're not great. You know that, Sasha. Why do you do this to me? Okay. I really hope that the head hasn't been hidden somewhere and I've gone right past it because that would be very annoying. <laughs> Hopefully, dang it! No, I have to do all this again. And I'm running out of time. Hopefully the head is at the end of this parkour. Oh, okay. There's a button. Oh no. Okay, okay. We have to open it. And go! Ah! Find the button. <gasps> okay, so one of these buttons will probably unveil the head. Hopefully they don't kill me though. Which one is it? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Ah! Whoa, I found it. You found it. Now, find your way out of this room. Hint, think of happy little trees. Oh, uh -huh. Ross paintings. Yes, that's the clue. The clue is paintings. We just need to figure out which painting it is. Which one is it, Sasha? <gasps> I found it. Swim, little fishy, just keep swimming. Oh, okay, left or right. I'm gonna go right because this seems like the right way, if you know what I mean. Nope, not this way. Dang it, okay, I'll just be going back down here and up this one instead. Oh, I'm running out of time. Hurry. Okay. Oh, well, no, no, no. What's this? Carpets? Chests? Is there a head in one of these? Rosebush? There's just random stuff. Is this a clue? Wait, there's a button. Maybe I need that. Is the head in one of these? Where is the head? Okay, maybe it's behind a painting. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm supposed to use the button on the door. Well, I hope so. Let's go. Hee <laughs> hee. What? What does that mean? There are arrows pointing this way, so I'm just gonna go and then parkour my way up, I guess. Oh, we have so little time left. We have to make it to the top really quick. I have no time for dilly-dallying. Oh no, that was a dilly-dally that we don't have time for. Maybe I won't get this head in the end. <gasps> yes, there it is. Oh my gosh. I was almost out of time, but I need it. I'm gonna wear it on my own head. Yeah. So next I am taking on Joel's base, which is for some reason snowman themed. He said to start the timer when you enter the snowman's booty. So let's get our butts in the butt. Here it is. Oh, the majestic snowman butt. 
Okay, so let's assess what we have here before we start. It says easy challenge and hard challenge. I think, well, how the heck am I meant to do anything but the hard challenge? Or is that part of the joke? Oh, you may need this. Oh, I see. Okay, there's a lever. So let's try and hit these buttons first. Right, okay, that's not really doing anything. Oh wait, that one opened the door. I'm in. Hopefully I don't get trapped. I think you missed something, awkward. Did I eat this? Oh, there's a book. Okay. You thought it would be in this chest? Ellie made a nice try. No, I thought a freaking clue would be in the chest, Joel. Maybe I'm supposed to use this lever. I don't know if I just cheated or not. It wasn't very obvious. Looks like the Polar Express could help you open the door. Shame there is some stuff missing. Please only place blocks. Don't destroy any. Okay, only place blocks. Make sure you craft the right things. What? What am I supposed to craft? Maybe rails? Yes. I'm definitely supposed to craft rails. But how do I craft rails? I don't remember. How do I know what the right thing to craft is? What if it's supposed to be a minecart? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna craft a minecart and this is what we're gonna do. Get up there. There we go, open the door. I'm not sure if I did it properly, but I did it, Joel. I don't care. Okay, now what? Ice parkour. Looks like a button could go here. A sheep spawn, but I don't have a button. Looks like a bit of redstone is missing. Yeah, Joel, looks like a lot of things are missing. Why didn't you finish your freaking build? Okay, let's get to the top of here. Maybe do some parkour. Perhaps there will be a button at the top in that chest. I'm not even gonna try and get up there. I'm just gonna open the chest from here. There's a button. Okay, so where does the button go? Here, let's put a sheep. Where did the sheep go? What, where are the sheep going? <gasps> Wait, I have redstone. Am I supposed to use it? Well, I did it, I think. Did I do it right? I don't know, but am I winning? Yes, I am. Oh no, Santa is choking. Quick, make something that will attract the whole fish he ate out of his mouth. Wait a second for the pressure plate to register. Okay, craft something, put in his mouth. What, a fishing rod maybe we're supposed to make? Let's try this. Aha. Ah, perfect. And now we can get out and up. Once more. <gasps> Ooh, what lovely decorations indeed. I wonder if Joel's head is one of them. If it was, it would definitely be the one on the top because Joel is very egotistical. So let's climb to the top and see if we can see Joel's head. There it is, I think. <gasps> it is, it's Joel's head. Ta-da, I'm Shrek. And I knew it would be right at the top of the tree. Let's get out of here. Oh no, wait, I'm stuck. <laughs> Christmas is canceled. Finally, I am moving on to Ollie's base. I'm really scared about this one. I have a feeling this is gonna break my win streak, but let's head on in. So, start the timer. Oh no, a spooky door, best hunt among roses. Look for a chest. Okay, we can't get in, so we'll have a look around for like a button or a lever or something. <gasps> it's a dead end. Or maybe it's on this side. Look for a chest, look for a chest. There it is. Okay, we've got levers and hoes and heads. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna keep them all. So I'm guessing the lever should be used here. And I've got a craze for the vase. Guess it's time for plant trivia. Which of these plants can be found in one biome? Okay, um, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Uh, sunflower, only found in sunflower plains. How do I say that that one is the answer? Do I walk through? Yes, congrats. Now to ascend to the stem. Okay, we're in the piston room. I don't like the looks of this. How are vases made? Pistons, of course. I think either way, go do this maze thing. Okay, so maybe we're supposed to avoid? Ah! Okay, I don't know. What, how do I do this? How, how is this done? I'm very confused. Come on, it's not difficult. Oh wait, hang on. That could have been it. Could, should we get up there? Ha! Yes, I did it. Um, potion plus glowstone. Hope you have the right ingredients. If not, go back down below again. I don't have a potion and glowstone. Ugh. Where do I get that from? Where do I go? <gasps> Wait, out there. I need to get out there. Move out of my way, stupid. Where am I meant to get potion and glowstone from? <gasps> a chest. Excuse me, pistons. There's potion of leaping. Where do I get the glowstone? Is there another chest? Yes, there is. Come on, this could be another win for me. There's a the glowstone, got it, got it, got it. Let's get back over here. Oh my gosh, how did I even get there in the first place? Here we go, ta-da! We're back up, we're back up, okay. Um, let's put the glowstone into a potion. What will it make? Who knows? There we go. Now while that's doing, let's have a look around. A, riddles, leap to victory. Oh, so I need the leaping potion 
to be able to do this. Got it. Why do I have all these levers? <laughs> Is this gonna help me in any way? Okay, they're done. So these give me jump boost too, I see. Now let's drink one, I guess. How long do we have? A minute. Okay, we got this. Plenty of time to win. Oh man. Oh no. Ah, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Don't panic. This is fine. Dang it! How did this happen? Ah, I'm panicking a lot. It was a lot of pressure to finish this one. Wait, how am I meant to get up there? This parkour is disgusting. Okay, I made it. I made it! Let me out! Whoa! Okay, what the heck just happened? Why am I climbing up? What? Okay, now where am I? I just keep finding new areas. I don't even know where I am anymore. Is this it? Wait, okay, there's my head. Not long left, climb ahead, okay? We gotta climb, let's use the heads to climb. Oh, good, 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 cool. I've still got my jump boost, this is great. <gasps> go, 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 yes! Yes, okay, now where? <sighs> Turn around, silly. Um, the thing is, my head was never up here, it's back at the beginning. <laughs> Hope you kept your hoe for the front door, left side. I left you a cute slide to use. Oh my gosh, yes, let's use this. Is it a water slide? I thought this was a water slide. I guess it's not a water slide. <laughs> oh, this is the sl hang on. Okay, that's, that's death. Luckily, I still have my hoe. Um, left side. Well, let's get rid of this. Oh, the head is down here, really? But where? I don't see it. <gasps> Was that the head? Yeah, I got it! Now I become the Orion sound. I have received the Holy Grail. All three player skulls. You can call me the queen of base invaders if you want. You don't have to. So that concludes this base invaders challenge. But if you want to see how everyone else did, make sure to head over to their channels to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and turn on notifications if you want to be in the early squad to my next video.